Okay, there's just a bit more geometrical setup to do. Um, now we've got to make these little posts that appear in this experiment. And the reason that I'm including these in this simulation is I want the uh, simulation setup to match the experimental setup as well as possible so that the validation of the models are good. Okay, so I need to do that geometry. Now I need to make a new piece of geometry, so right click this and press new. And then um, again, I want to make it along the XY uh, plane. So here, and then I'll, pr and uh, the thing is, I need to uh, define the geometry in terms of the uh, the front bumper origin so I'll first create plane by transformation and I need to translate this vector by the same amount that we translated the origin just now so in X it's 13.33 centimeters in Y it's uh, 1.525 uh, meters and in Z it's uh, 1.5 centimeters okay so press OK so now I have my transformed plane. So the origin of this plane should correspond to the front bumper. And I'll create a sketch on this plane. Uh, I'm going to start with a uh, uh, sort of a construction line that defines where the center of my post is. Uh, and this one should only go in the x direction. So according to my um, notes, the center mount is located 1.32 meters aft of the front bumper. So I'll change this length to 1.32 meters. Okay, and I can right click that and set it as a construction line. Okay, so this is the real center of the uh, mount. So, uh, each mount is uh, 3.8 centimeters in diameter. There's four of them. And um, the distance from the center line of each of the mounts in a square is 105.72 centimeters. So let's implement that. That's no, right, it's 105.72 millimeters, okay? So 10.572 centimeters from the center line so I'm gonna make a line first here from that point downwards okay so the start X and NX should be the same and in Y it's minus 1 uh, 10.5 centimeters okay so that's the sort of one position and uh, I'm gonna make another line here from this point just outwards like that so when it's yellow should mean it's straight okay and the I only need to change the X position here or sorry the length of the line to be the same 10.572 centimeters okay so that's moved so this is sort of uh, one corner so I'll change these to construction lines okay so I'm gonna select this point here and now I'm going to make make all of this construction line so I'll, again I'll, I'll right click this part apply uh, set as construction then I want to select this point and select apply fixation constraint so that fixes the point there then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle that goes from that point uh, you know like that so wait, join me in the next video we'll continue